everyone, Janet here from the 4-H office. Today for our fun project, we are going to do a photo transfer onto a wooden block or plaque. So today's project, you will need newspaper on your work surface, a pair of scissors, some Mod Podge. There are a bunch of different kinds of Mod Podge, whatever one um, you would like. You can do the regular clear or you can get some that makes your picture look a little antique-y. You also need a block of wood, um, whatever size picture that you want to do. You will need a roller um, for wallpaper or for scrapbooking to get all of the bubbles out of our picture today. You will also need a picture um, similar to this that has been reversed so that when you put your picture on your wood it actually comes out the right way. So this is the original here and I have flipped it and reversed it. Also when you're printing, please make sure that you use the thinnest paper possible so that your transfer works correctly. In addition to that, you're going to need some polyurethane to spray your project and or some wood stain if you want to stain your block as well. Um, and you will need some wet washcloths, old washcloths that you don't mind getting dirty. Plus, make sure you have the garbage can next to you for the little paper scraps. So to get started, you're going to take your picture that you've printed, I'm going to use an antique tractor picture and just cut it out. I want to cut to make sure I get all of the white off, the white edges of my photo, so that when I do my photo transfer, I don't have those white edges. You can also put your folder, photo into some sort of publishing program and play around with it to um, fade out the edges to give it a more, um, a more antique type look, not as much clear definition on the edges. So to get started, I'm simply going to place my picture on my block, see how I like it, and then grab my paintbrush, which I am using a foam brush today to help get nice even strokes of the uh, Mod Podge on my picture. So I'm simply going to make sure it's all shaken up, shook up, mixed up, get some on my brush, and simply just paint my picture. Make sure you're working on your um, newspaper surface. So we're just going to paint the Mod Podge on nice and even on the front of the design. Make sure I get all the edges. And then I am simply going to place my picture in the middle of my wooden block, making sure that I like the placement and then simply take my roller and flatten my picture to make sure that all the bubbles are out. Now when you start rolling, it might move your picture a little bit, so just kind of make sure that you're centered the way you like it, and just roll. So, when your picture is nice and flat and there are no air bubbles, you're just going to set it aside and let it dry overnight. Now I did make one ahead of time, so I have my Jersey cow picture on my plaque and to get my picture off I'm simply going to take one of my wet washcloths and soak the picture. I want it totally totally wet and it may require more water but we're just going to wet the paper. And if you have to squeeze a little bit get a little bit of water on there make sure you rub it on And when it's wet, what you're going to do is just start scrubbing. So here's my picture. You can see how I wet my board. And I'm just going to start scrubbing and get the paper off, the copy paper. Now it's going to come off in pieces. You may have to keep wetting your surface. We don't want to start scrubbing with a dry um, paper or else we will actually peel our photo off. So as you can see, I do have the paper coming off. I have a washcloth with paper. I'm just going to move my washcloth around and get a new section of it that doesn't have any little paper pieces stuck to it. And I'm just going to very carefully scrub. And if you have areas that are still dry, give it a little squeeze, let it soak, and just be very careful 
to keep scrubbing your picture off. Now, the thinner the copy paper, the better it is. The easier it is to scrub off the, the paper that you printed on and to leave your design on your block. So I'm just going to continue scrubbing until it's all off. All right, as you can see, I'm getting the paper off of my jersey picture. I'm just gonna keep scrubbing. I might let it soak, actually. I've got a couple spots that haven't quite soaked up enough water to scrub off. And then I'll be back to show you how to finish your project. As you can see, I have scrubbed all of the white paper, the copy paper off. I did take off a little bit of my design right here on the side, but nothing too bad. I've taken a clean washcloth and I've washed off the front, the face of my picture making sure to get off all the little white parts. Now, if you had yourself an extra picture that you printed, say this copy here, if I wanted to, I could cut and mod podge the pieces that peeled off and reapply to fill in the picture. I'm actually quite happy with my cow, so I'm going to leave her as is. Now, when she's dry, I will have the option of um, staining the edges of this or I could have stained the block beforehand. I might actually just put on a um, coat of polyurethane and then figure out a way to hold her. I do have some rough edges. If you're using a rough piece of wood um, that isn't sanded, you will have to sand that lightly, get all the burrs and edges off so that your picture transfers perfectly. For this project and more fun projects, check out Shenango County 4-H on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel, both under Shenango County 4-H. Have a great day.